Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I want to uh, talk about a worst case scenario. Um, this kind of stems from, as you all probably well know, there's a war going on between Russia and Ukraine. And it kind of made me start thinking, you know, what would happen if, you know, the United States went into war also and we started in a basically a, 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 a stuff hits the fan scenario. Uh, like we don't have any electricity, we don't have any water running, uh, anything like that. So what I would need to do with, with all the things that I have in my house currently, what I would need to do to get fresh water uh, is I would need to have some sort of water source and then also I would need to make it so it's actually drinkable. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you what I could do with the things I have in my house right now. First, I want to show you uh, my methods of getting water. My first method would be my sub pump. Alright, this is, this is my sub pump and it's actually a great source of water. Uh, so. In my demonstration, I'm going to be getting water out of that. Um, but I do have another method of getting water as well. So let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, that method would be uh, a dehumidifier. So I have a dehumidifier right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And we're going to see how many watts it uses uh, to run. We'll make sure it does run, actually. And then we'll see what kind of wattage it takes. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, display the screen right here, which will show you uh, how many how many watts it's it's using. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and power it on, and we're gonna put it on continuous. All right, it's already on continuous, and it looks like our wattage has jumped from 100. Looks like it's uh, sitting at three. 388 watts now. Uh, there's 399. So 400 watts. Let's just say 400 watts. So this thing uses this this thing uses about 300 watts of electricity per hour. So currently, I would be able to run this all day while the sun's out, because uh, you can see on the screen that that 300 that 380 400 watts is being generated directly from my solar panels. My battery is not my battery is not really being discharged much at all. It's being discharged by 30 watts. No big deal. This would be a very inefficient way of getting water, but in a uh, in a really you know worst case scenario, this is an option that I have. Like I said, my other option is my sub pump. This would be the preferred option. This does pull a lot of groundwater, so it would be a great source to be able to pull water out of it in case of a worst case scenario. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a small bowl uh, and get some water out of that sub pump, and then I'll put a thermometer in the water to show you the temperature of the water straight from the sub pump. Okay, and I'm just gonna fill it, I'm just gonna fill it about halfway. Um, all right, let's take our temperature with our thermometer. All right, looks like the temperature is right at 48 degrees. And why that's important is in order to drink this water, even though this water looks nice and clear and clean, it's probably got a lot of bacteria in it. And you wouldn't want to drink a lot of this because it might make you really sick. What you would have to do is you would have to boil it. You have to boil it for one minute. Uh, so the best way to boil water in an off-grid situation would be to have an induction plate. Uh, that would make it so it would boil the water very quickly. But I don't have an induction plate. So the next best thing that I have is a microwave. So let's go try that. Here is the microwave that I'm planning on using. So we're going to go ahead and plug it into my off-grid solar power system 
and we'll see if we can microwave this water uh, to a boil. And then we're going to boil it an additional one minute to make sure that it's nice and clean. So let's go ahead and try that now. Okay. All right, turned on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the screen right here so you can see uh, the amount of wattage that this is going to generate. I'm also planning on microwaving this water for, we'll microwave it for five minutes uh, to see if that gets it to a boil. And if not, then we'll have to do it an additional minute or two to, to really make sure that it's uh, all the way up. So let's go ahead and, and start. Yeah. All right. What did I say? Five minutes? Um, six minutes. Six minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll do six minutes. Okay. Ready and go. All right. The wattage is staying at 204. There we go. As you can see, it's up to 1,370, 1,374 watts. So we're going to go ahead and let this microwave, and we're going to see what the temperature is when it's done. Okay, we're halfway through the microwaving process. Uh, we have about three minutes left. But what I do want to show is on the screen, we're using 1,370 watts, but we are actually pulling 1,128 watts straight from the solar panels. So this microwave is actually only pulling about 200, 230 to 240 watts from our batteries. So again, while when it's a nice sunny day outside, you can use you can use a microwave if you have enough solar panels. You can use a microwave. Uh, it's, it's pulling all of its electricity from the sun. All right, microwave is done. It's been six minutes. Let's go ahead and take the temperature of the water. No, you don't want to drink that. All right, it says that it was, the water is 203 degrees, but I actually saw it boiling in there. So we're going to go ahead and microwave it for an additional minute to make sure we get that boil time of one minute. Okay. Water is boiled for another additional minute, and that bowl is going to be very hot. Can I Alright. But as you can see, you can microwave your water uh, in a microwave off grid for, you know. What I did, I did for six minutes, and then I did it for an additional minute to make sure that I get that minute of boil time. And then what I would do, I would put it in a container and actually put it in the uh, small refrigerator that I have also plugged into my off-grid system. All right, and I would just put it right in my refrigerator and uh, wait for it to cool down and then it should be drinkable. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And, uh, and if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe. It'd be great. Thanks a lot, and talk to you soon. Bye. Three, two, Three, one, one, go. go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming back to the channel. And OK. Three. Two, you can't even keep a straight face. Okay, ready? Okay, let's just not, oh God, your hair is disgusting. Okay, okay, ready?
It's so quiet. Okay, ready? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna start talking. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Hi, everybody. Keats. You keep trying to get it. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Three, two. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, ready?